What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode. It's episode two of the How to Build a RC Course in Your Backyard. And today you'll be learning how to build a suspension bridge um, to put anywhere in your course. So the tools and materials you'll need is a drill um, with a half inch drill bit, um, a hammer, and those are all the tools you're gonna need. And then you're gonna need the materials. You're gonna need some sort of on and off ramps to get on and off the bridge. And you're gonna need some large sticks to use as your posts and the ins, uh, what to thread ropes through um, to hang them like this. So you're gonna need the logs are going to act as the middle of the bridge. And you're going to need rope to hold up your bridge. So step one is to either measure the holes, how far you want them off the edge. I just estimated where I wanted them and it seemed to work out for me, but you could tape measure them if you wanted to. And then the next step is you're going to want to drill holes through both sides of the log. On all of your logs, I ended up needing, I think, 24 logs to go about my arm span. And then once you're done drilling all of your holes, you're gonna lay your logs out kind of like this, where the holes are facing up. And then you're gonna need two ropes, approximately the same length. And you're gonna wanna thread your ropes through sticks, logs, whatever you want to call them. So that's one start side of a bridge. And then you do that for the rest of the sides. And then once you do that, you're going to want to put a knot at the start and at the end. And then two loops. Even if your thing does have a loop, you can use that but you're gonna want two loops so you can eventually um, put them you, uh, over a post that you're gonna hammer into the ground in a later step, like this, because that's what's gonna hold up your bridge. As a post, it can be the same things you use for the inside of your bridge. So this is the assembly part of it. You're gonna want four um, medium to large size sticks that will be able to hold the weight of your bridge. So, and then you're gonna wanna um, put them about halfway in the ground. And then on all four corners of your bridge, um, and then put these, uh, your ropes over your um, sticks. And then you should have your bridge hung. You might have to add some supports in the middle. Like as you see, I had to do because it sagged a little bit because my course is gonna eventually, uh, eventually, once you get down and around comes under the bridge. And then one thing you can also have to think about is how to get on and off the bridge. My bridge goes over a canal on a slope, so I didn't have to think about the off ramps, the on ramps, but the off ramp I had to uh, take into consideration. That was. We had to think of that. If you're doing it on a flat surface, you're um, going to need something of, something to elevate it and to get on and off of. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.